the decision to resign coming in July, was it a hard decision to make? It, it, it is. And I tell you, I love public health and I love the Department of Health. It's a great place to work. Um, even these past couple of years, which has been tough, it's it's an experience that I that I really value highly, um, you know, proud and honored to be a part of it. But I knew that it'd be time to leave at some point because I would go back to being a, a doctor and working on things more directly. And, you know, it, it's, a, it's a good time at the agency to bring on new leadership. And so I'll be transitioning out this summer. So you led us through a pandemic. I know you couldn't see that coming, but is there a decision that you regret throughout the entire process? Boy, I'm sure there's a lot of small things, you know, and I think some of it might not be um, uh, preparing for some ways that we might not have anticipated. Um, we were we were caught a little bit flat-footed on the health equity response within the first few weeks, but we we're able to recover pretty quickly. I think that's something that we're going to try to remedy. We're working on our pandemic planning now, and I think we want to have an entire annex on health equity. I think that that's going to be good so that we can start, you know, ahead of the curve. Um, you know, I think in moments of frustration, I might have said a couple of things that uh, got some people stirred up. But, um, you know, in, in hindsight, there's a lot you can do. But uh, it certainly would have tried harder if I could, but I just don't know if that was possible. Where we sit right now, do you believe that the pandemic is over? You know, it's not really over. It's just different. You know, we are we are transitioning into a different phase. And I think sometimes artificial characterizations get people thinking in a way we have an unfortunate binary way of looking at stuff. It's different. It's better. You know, the almost everybody has some degree of immunity, either because of immunization or because of, of prior infection. So that's good. But people are still going to get sick. And, and, and sadly, people are still going to die. But we need to look at our strategies a little bit differently because we have new tools. You know, we have the vaccines, which is great. We have treatments. And so people need to be thinking of this more like a medical part of the response. So I also want to talk about some of the other infectious diseases that we don't focus on right now. So do you think we still have ways to go with the AIDS epidem epidemic and other things that are, you know, plaguing us right now? We need to invest a lot of energy in uh, HIV prevention, making sure everybody who um, has HIV is getting support and treatment and sexually transmitted diseases. Um, Mississippi is number one in chlamydia gonorrhea by a large margin. It's, it's really bad. And also um, uh, syphilis. We're tied with Nevada, number one. And we're growing congenital syphilis. So there's a lot of work to be done in those areas. And I'm hoping as part of my whatever my new role is going to be in, in my new work that I can spend more time focusing on those issues. Can you tell people where you'll be headed next? You know, it's, it's still... Um, not entirely decided. I'm in conversations with the University of Mississippi Medical Center and the School of Population Health of, of working with them. Um, I've been teaching courses for them for a long time, um, just on the side, and look forward to maybe engaging with them both in their population health-based work, but also as an infectious diseases physician. You've been in this role since 2018. Is there one thing you want to let everyone know as you're on your way out? This is not the end of pandemics. So we're going to have other things coming up. So please, let's learn the valuable lessons of the past. Um, we did some things well, but we did some things extremely poorly. So just, just please be ready, understand that we're here to help and save as many lives as possible.